Uh, hello, we're back. Sorry about that cut. Um, anyways, as I was saying, it took too long. Uh, yeah, I'm only allowed uh, ten minutes of recording. But anyways, um, I'm there, taking too long. How many more? Uh, there's only like these two people, then one other p- presentation. I bet you I can make it like last. The same another time, isn't it? Probably. Um, this is one of the people that I said uh, has the same talent. So, what do you think their talent is? Oh, they have the same talent. Yeah. That's why they're together. They're not the same people. No. It's not the same people. Not the same people. Okay, so are they happy? Um, yes, they're a happy person. Uh, he is the protagonist of the first game. And he <laughs> is... Protagonist? Not a protagonist. He's one of the people that uh, protagonist of the second game gets to know. I just realized I don't think I have no. I I have one person from the third game. Um, what do you think their ultimate is though, or suppressive level? Uh, they're happy people. Are they jerks? Uh, no. He's insane though. Do they help people? Uh, he tries to help people. He helps people. Then is insane. Oh, like me. <laughs> well, I'm not insane. I'm just weird. Yeah. But everybody else is weird. I mean, I'm normal. Dog, no, stop. I'm not normal. So. Um. He's insane. He's. Um. He's also later known this guy Makoto Nayagi. He's known as uh, Ultimate Hope later on. He is the Ultimate Hope later on. Yeah, but okay, at so... the moment he is something else. So, what do you think his ultimate or super useful level is? Uh, <laughs> uh, Just blurt something out. My dancer? That's interesting. I could actually think that they would be the dancer, but... Oh, thank you. Uh, they are actually uh, super high school level and ultimate lucky student. Um, lucky. For the so he's insane, but he's but lucky. he's lucky. Yeah, like uh, I'll go insane if I'm lucky. <laughs> um. Anyway, so one moment. First, explaining this, how they're the lucky student. Um, to get into Hope Speak Academy, you must have an <coughs> uh super high school level or an ultimate talent, and I believe there is also a draw every year. I think, and that draw. If you win it, you're the ultimate lucky or surprisingly lucky. So he's not lucky as in he gets, he finds stuff and stuff. Um, He is, he is actually very lucky. Um, Him, I'm pretty sure he's lucky at random times, but otherwise he's normal. Like, he, uh, in the anime, uh, he is trying to buy a drink at a vending machine and it doesn't come out, and then a giant truck comes flying by, and it hits the machine, and it dispenses a lot of drinks. And the change? So he gets the money back? I can't remember. I just know it dispenses... I just know it dispenses the drinks. So that's an example of him being lucky. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Do you think they live or die, or are the killers? Oh, I hope they live. Because... Uh, Okay, uh, we have my favorite character. He is also... Did you said there was another one that was your favorite? Yes, he is one other that's my favorite. Uh, Gundam Tanaka. Yeah, so more than one favorite. Yes, it Just is your... possible. Um, we have Kibo. K1B0. Kibo. Okay. What do you think his ultimate is? It should be easy. Tech stuff. Uh, close. Very close. He is the ultimate robot. Yeah, take stuff. <laughs> uh, I believe this is the last person. Meow! One moment. Our cat is on the table. Why do you have to say one moment? Meow! I mean, we're just like here and just like, oh my, oh look a bunny! <laughs> Except it's not, oh look a bunny! Don't look Meow. a chicken! I'm trying to get our cat off the show. Attention! Deficit! Oh look a <laughs> Um, what do you think his personality is? He... Robocop. <laughs> so basically badass. Yeah. Uh, no, he's actually very innocent-like and childlike. Um, there's this one character, Kokichi, which I'll show you in a later video, not today. Um, Kokichi is a very crazy person. 
and she <laughs> likes to ask Kibo many times, does he have a dick? Oh, okay. Yeah. So... And I don't think he ever answers, but he is very happy and childlike. He's you would insane. think if it's like, he's got a real head, he's got to have another head. Oh, God, no. Um, he is a very great character. Um, he's not a protagonist, though. I he think... probably dies and then comes back together. He's a robot. <laughs> he probably, like, dies every time you turn him off oh, to, like, be Here's charged. our cat. We got our animals here. Um, so, do you think he dies or lives or what? Well, he probably dies and comes back. You know, he's okay. a robot. Uh, let me tell you, everybody's starting from the beginning. Uh, We're going to have another video, another one. No. All right. Uh, she lives. Okay. Uh, she dies. She gets killed. Well, that's stupid. <laughs> um. Uh, he is the killer. You got that right. Oh, yay! <laughs> uh, which is sad. Uh, <laughs> the one with the hamster who likes sex. <laughs> he doesn't like sex. Um, yeah, he breeds his she fucking lives. hamsters. She lives. Uh, she's also a lesbian. Uh, she falls for a girl, that, a really buff girl that looks like a man. Um, anyways, we have Byakuya Togami. One the one the- that's not a... He lives, he gets killed. Okay, did I say that? What? That they probably, no. I don't remember what I said. Um, I don't know. Juku Anishima, she dies. Okay. She gets killed uh, three times. Okay. She gets killed three times. But she's the creator. Uh, in the first game, she's the mastermind. She goes through all the punishments. She dies that way. And then in the second game, you find out that it's basically a video game virtual reality. And they're in virtual rea- reality. And she comes back Maybe as a giant computer program. She gets killed by a bunny using a magical wand. Oh, like a bunny! <laughs> uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, she ends up dying in the third game because she is another character, which I won't say, but she she gets killed. She's a mastermind. She's the fifty third in the third one game. Uh, I end up making another one. He lives uh, and he gets dies. He dies. Actually, oh, so he no, lives. No, actually, he kills. Actually, no, he doesn't kill. He kills himself. But yet, somebody else killed him. It's interesting his death. So he's half of a killer. Yeah, basically. So what he does, he basically injured himself very uh, badly on purpose. And then he held a rope that was attached to a spike. And then he put poison into a bottle that, upon burning, it would turn into deadly gas. He put that in a fire extinguishing bottle. And they took these bottles, they threw them, and it's supposed to disperse a liquid that makes the fire go out, but instead nothing happened, and the gas fell, filled, and he died and let go because... Uh, okay, so died. he died. Yeah. The insane one. He was killed by somebody, which I will tell you later. Um, but the other one lived. Yes, he lives. Makoto Nayagi lives. And uh, he kills Junko and Shima in one of the games. So and, not so innocent. And he also kills himself. So he does die. Yeah. But not innocent. He ends the killing because game. Because if he, if he kills someone, that's not innocent. He killed uh, Juku Arashima because that was her punishment. Okay. Because they found the mastermind. But she's not innocent. He's not innocent. He technically is. Because, no. Because Juku Arashima was supposed to If you kill someone, you're not innocent. <laughs> Yeah, but she... It's totally the opposite of innocent! <laughs> he only killed uh, Juku Anishima because uh, it was so, a punishment. So? Not innocent! Anyway, so that was Kibo. You should ask them to, like, <laughs> who's right? <laughs> okay, well then, we'll ask them. Uh, people who watch this video, put down in the comments, who's right? Is Kibo innocent for killing Junko Anishima, or is he... Not innocent for killing Joko and Shima. He said he was innocent. Yep. Innocent. And I said, no. He's innocent. And he killed someone. Um, So that means not innocent. 
So we could do reactions to their executions next if you want to. Yeah. 